Hello there, Internet! I am your host, Jamie, and we'll go back to Let's Play! Ape Escape 2, we left off. Well, we had another bit of a run in with another member of the Freaky Monkey 5, although less creepy like yellow, and this one was pink, and she was. So I was saying, enter the monkey. Seventeen! That's a lot of monks! <sighs> okay, maybe that's why. Here I come. So here was like a very, very, very unfortunate coincidence. No Barry? Mo Monkey Chan? So, uh... So... As I, I remember how I keep bringing up that I bought this at a con? But then I remember, like, the day... was this? Um... And my younger brother's neck, like, literally right next door. Nobody blows. So, it turns out, the day I bought this thing was the day... Um, what was the day Rachel Willis died? Like, and yeah, I think I might have spoiled this Let's Play's existence because of uh, Max P. Trades. Uh, as I said before, Max P. Trades is another YouTuber. Like, that guy's underrated, okay? That guy might be like my most, one of the most underrated Let's Players out there. I'm serious, like. But yeah, as I said, it turns out I bought this thing the same day she died, and I'm... That alone is kind of a massive yikes moment, like... Ouch. Maybe I try to change the subject to something slightly less lighthearted. Apparently, so... I learned that they actually, there were a lot more changes to, so as I said last time, they changed some elements of the gameplay from uh, a gameplay mechanic about like how you're judged, like how sexy stuff can be, like in Dead Rising's, that was removed from the remaster. Well, it turns out there's one change that, that has been changed, and unlike the other ones, I'm actually kind of with them, because it essentially changed the character. Ah. Oh. It's Cliff. So if you don't remember, Cliff uh, is w was one of the sadder psychopaths in, in Dead Rising 1. Basically his whole backstory was that he was a Vietnam War vet who went insane after his granddaughter was eaten by zomb was eaten by the zombies. And, and after he started going insane, he started thinking he was back in Nam. Well, they kind of changed some elements, like say that 
He doesn't say Viet Cong anymore. Say Viet Cong anymore. He says, uh, Mole, and instead of calling him a communist, he calls us a damn, like, animal. Because, yeah, there's a surprisingly large amount of, ch of off screen child murder in Dead Rising. Uh, yeah, even my dad found, uh, when I told my dad about Dead Rising, even he thought that, uh, Cliff's backstory was actually kind of sad. Now, my theory could be because Capcom didn't want another... Chinese joke. Chinese incident. So, for the uninitiated, there was a Monster Hunter movie that came out a few years ago, and like pretty much a lot of all Capcom's live action projects, it sucked. It was made by the guy that made those Resident Evil, by the, those god awful Resident Evil movies. And all I know is that apparently one of the main characters is played by the director's wife. But unlike. Unlike uh, Temple of Doom, where they just happened to end up getting married later on, I think she was married like even before this, and it was some form of nepotism. So, uh, The actress who played... But yeah, there was a, t a Monster Hunter movie. It sucked. Um... And one... And ended up getting pulled in China because there was like a really kind of tasteless joke. About some guy saying, what kind of these are these? Chinese. I mean, that joke was already terrible, but apparently it came off too similarly as like a kind of like a, a racist and racist joke about, like, pro about making fun of kids whose parents are prostitutes. So they're kind of in the right ish. I mean, not to comment myself, but then. But this, another change, like with the character, was with like one of the final psychopaths, some, some creepy butcher that looked like a very massive Chinese stereotype. But some people are kind of fine with it because not only did the model like just not look very good, but, but also the character in question like, people also thought it made more sense for the guy since. It'll be since it was like the very kind of meat cap uh, American consumerism that Carlito was one was against in, de in the first place. So there's that, and then there's like of course as I said before, Capcom removed the erotica subject, and when you're introduced to the most annoying character in the game, Kent. Okay, Kent is this guy that looks strikingly similar to. Larry Butts from Ace Attorney, and I think it's intentional because they're, I mean, for one, it's Capcom. They love to reference their other IPs. Capcom. But the other reason why I think it's intentional
is because they pretty much are similar personality-wise that they're annoying little shits who think they're better than the main character in some way. Although you do get to kill Kent, unlike Larry, so that's a plus. Probably the only plus of Kent. Alright, let's see. Nice ass. And then there's uh, the infamous. Of course, Kent has a change. So when Kent tries to show how how hot shit he is, but actually he's plain old shit, he tries to say that show off some of his pictures that he took during the apocalypse. Like this. Is my most emotional shot, and this is my sexiest shot. Well, they changed sexiest to funniest shots, which shows, uh, instead shows a bunch of, uh, uh zombies with. Uh, heads on their head. Oh, Pippachi! Where have you been? Everyone's been so worried about you. Hmm? Oh, Professor! I found Pippachi, and he's fine! Good work. Okay. I'm gonna take him with me on the adventure. Mm. Very well. You just be careful out there. Smash. Again, he narrowed her running. I never learned what an airport was. All right, we did it. There's a lot of angry but ever angry day monks. Pippachi, you really had us worried. Pippachi wanted to be with you. Yeah, that plot really went nowhere. Monkey Le Bonk Soccer. Pog, Shrek. Uh, 
Yeah, I wonder why Sony didn't want to publish. I guess they're trying to come off like a super edgy company or something. And they want like a little kid's game to distract them. If that's the case, why are they pu publish Jack and Daxter and Sly Cooper? Granted, Sly was aimed at kind of like an older kid audience. Uh, and night, and this is... Now we're in Egypt, where... WHERE DEAL WITH HIS LIVES! I HAD TO MAKE A JOJO MAYME! Oh god, magic... Yeah, if you're wondering when I'm gonna go and recollect all the mon other monkeys... I'm, I'm gonna save that for when I... For when I get all the gadgets. Again, I think the O Banana sound effect might be one of my top 10 favorite sound effects ever. Is that intentional? No way, I think, uh... I remember, Ubisoft publishes and therefore localized it. Early Ubisoft- yeah, it's so weird th things published by Ubisoft, of all companies, who are now, uh... I mean, Ubisoft used to be, like, in my opinion, like, one of the better Western pla developers. But now they got drama again. I remember, like, one thing they got mad at, people got mad at them, like... I mean... Yeah, it's so weird that they... Yeah, I always keep thinking to myself, in some parallel universe, there would have been ape escape machinimas and not, uh... And not, uh, Mario machinimas. Yeah, if you guys are wondering, like, the last game in the series is, was a PlayStation Move spinoff. And, yeah, like I said, that was pretty much it. I mean, yeah. Never saw the series after it. In fact, apparently, according to, like, Wikipedia at least... The last we saw from the franchise was Super Bomberman R. Apparently. Let me see. Yeah, there was like a bo people Bucky Bomber there. I don't know. Yeah, the fact that Konami, a company that doesn't even really make games that much anymore, cared more about 
Ape escape. Sony's older IP is suing themselves. It's kind of, even if it's just like a simple cameo, that's just sad. I mean, I remember like a cameo that I actually like couldn't like find any proof of that I actually even asked Reddit for. So I found something on TV Tropes that said that uh, apparently the original plan for uh, the original plan for that the original crossover character for Sony. For a PlayStation for Shovel Knight was supposed to be uh, Daniel Fortescue from Medieval because I thought it would have made sense to Kratos because uh, for one, Medieval takes place in and Medieval and Shovel Knight have like a bit ha take place well in Medieval times. I couldn't. Problem was I couldn't find a source so. I asked uh, Reddit, and somebody from and somebody from. Uh, somebody from uh, Yacht Club Games said that confirmed that uh, that no, that was that didn't actually happen. Toto! Toto! Shrek killed. Oh yeah, so I was like, I had like a buddy at work recently about how my... How, uh... Shit, 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 shit. Word. Oh yeah, it's called Blue Word. I like Squidward. My... See, I gotta show my girl... Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know if my Brian's actually so weird like that. Uh... I agree that, uh, yeah. We all agree that Jesus, uh, I don't know something about memes. <laughs> well, Rip Harold. Or a chair, darling. <laughs> hey, I got a Glock in my Rari. Seventeen shots, no thirty eight. Well, I got the soda. Top 10 family guys. We're gonna murder a child. this thing. We're firing a nuke into the hunt for Monkey October. That's going to be the end of this episode. The hunt for Ape October. Because, as we all know, Red October.
Alright, so... Oh, it's little Nikki. <laughs> Peter. Oh yeah, I saw like another funny Jackson's name where he made me like operating like his 18th anniversary. And he made a scene where basically he was like, oh yeah, before he get cancelled. Oh, cancelled like a TV show? Yes. Oh, so, Speedy Gonzalez. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I wonder if I still have my Aki card from Koikatsu. I probably still have it. Jimmy, you've got to remember. Uh, I guess I'll be a good time to save. Oh, I'm landing up right here. Like, Skyballs, fix up, see ya.